Zach Cleveland, and he gets him back. Oh, John being very, very stubborn on this, but it's a good point. Got to get a first on the go. And it's Malcolm Hill and Chris Stewart that will lead him through turn number one. It's Chris Stewart. Stewart's got the lead. Chris Stewart's got the lead. Can't believe it. Radar's running a second spot. Oh, a lot of riders going way wide around turn number two, taking a wide line around there as they start shuffling themselves out. But Stewart, boy, dog, a determined rider he has got a great start, and it's got the early lead, and nobody's challenging him yet. They go on to turn number three, and already riders starting to come to him as they head up into turn number three and into four. The riders up the hill for the first time. It's still Stewart and the rest of the pack. An incredible start for Stewart. He hasn't had a win this year, but he's had a couple of third place finishes, and right now he's uh, running uh, sixth in the point standings. And remember, a lot of these races mean money. $700 to the winner of each event, and it'll be $700 today as well, plus the fact that next year it's going to be double the money. So these guys are really out for today. And look at this. Stewart now is going to get a challenge from the rider in second spot. But Stewart seems to be holding his own out in front. An amazing run by Chris Stewart in a three-way flyer. has got to be as happy as pleased as Punch out there with his rider. Come out of turn number nine to come down and complete lap number one. Seven laps to go. Doug Pollan running in second. He's already in second, ladies and gentlemen. Doug Pollan, probably the best runner in the country right now, running in second position. Earl Rodolph running in third. Doug Pollan in fourth. Malcolm Hill in fifth spot. In sixth spot was bike number 649, Scott Cavanis. A good ride by Scott Cavanis. And James Dumais running in seventh. We got a rider. Off the track, two riders off the track, they just rode them off up there, and it's the three riders now starting to break away from the rest of the pack. That's Stewart, Roloff, and uh, Poland starting to take command of the race now as those three start heading up the field. The big surprise right now, Chris Stewart, amazingly enough, keeping uh, the leaders inside here as they go. Uh, maybe Poland's setting him up for a pass, but uh, he can't be too cagey. Roloff is right behind them as well. Poland, surprisingly left, drifting farther and farther back in fourth position. Malcolm Hill, however, may, may be making a, uh, a move up for that position in fifth. Here goes Poland. The Texas Riders trying to move in on the Southern California Chris Stewart. They go around turn number eight at about 155 miles an hour. As they go around turn number eight, the fastest part of the racetrack. They're in the turn number nine. They come down to complete lap number two. They'll have six laps remaining. This is it. Roloff, he doesn't have to be out there, but he wants to try and beat Poland, but he's got his work cut out for him. Here they come. It's Stewart and Poland and Roloff. Then comes Hill. Then comes Toland. And then Scott Cavanis. A good ride by Scott Cavanis. He's going to pick up some money today. Remember, Poland has not won one this year, and neither has Chris Stewart. So the riders battling it out for the lead right now are going for their first win ever. Running in fourth spot was Malcolm Hill. In fifth spot, Doug Tolan. In sixth spot, that was uh, Kerry Anderson. Oh, what do we got? Oh, right off in turn number one, and he's down. We got two riders off. Somebody blew a motor, and he knocked a couple of guys down. There may be oil up there in the turn one area, as somebody blew their motor going into turn number one. Scott Cavan is now back in seventh spot. James Dumais in eighth spot, in ninth spot. That's Langford running in ninth spot in 10th spot. Curtis Adams in 10th. In 11th spot, Dan, Don Kinney. 11th spot, Kopecky. And 12th spot, back number 322. It'd be 327, Rick Arnes. Bad spot to have oil, but we're going to find out. Here they come. Let's see if the uh, riders can go around this little bit of oil out here. Once again, as I mentioned, the leader's battling for the lead right now. Stewart and Paul. Have never won this event yet, and they're trying their damnest to do it right now. Here goes Poland. They're coming up to that very tricky turn one where there may be some oil down. As they go formation flying through that turn the one at about 90 miles an hour, they all get through in pretty good shape. They go around turn number two. Stewart probably surprising himself that he's still out in front, but all he has to do is look over his shoulder, and he's going to see a Poland bearing down on him. As they come out of turn number two, the big question is, where is Poland going to make the pass? Where is he going to make a second? He's going to do it now. Poland's taking over the lead. Capecchi out of the race. Kenny Capecchi 
out of the race. Running a 12 spot, but now Kenny Kopecky out of the race as the three leaders come down the hill. Now let's see if Poland can motor away now. Remember, he's got a milled head. He's running on alcohol in that tank. And that thing burns a lot of fuel real fast, but it keeps the engine cool. I don't think you need to keep an engine and worry about engine heat today. But look at him motor away on the straightaway. He's starting to pull away now. And Stewart, his second position is being threatened by Roloff. Stewart in a terrific ride. I wouldn't even say he's riding over his head. He probably feels he should have been up there with these guys all season long, and he's proven it to it right now. Chris Stewart definitely making amends for a very disappointing road to Atlanta. As they come down the front straightaway, it's Poland, Stewart, and Roloff in that order. And maybe Roloff might have something to say before this race is over. He's right in striking distance. If Roloff, if this race goes on and Roloff feels he can stay with him, you might see him starting charging to the front. We're at the halfway flag. That's Tolan in uh, Malcolm Hill in first spot. Doug Tolan is off of our lap charts. Doug Tolan has pulled it in. He's got a mechanic problem, and he's pulled in, and he's out of the race. Look at this. Tolan is not motoring away. Stewart is coming back, and so is Roloff. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a knockdown dragout fight in Formula USA. Every race this year has been like this. There's every race has been absolutely to the max, ball to the wall. Uh, just leave the throttle wide open and uh, catch me if you can. Here they come, out of turn number five, and down the hill. We thought Poland might dominate this event a little bit more, but Stewart and Roloff are going to have a say about it. Texas out in front, California running second and third. This is why Doug Poland has made $90,000 this year, going all over the country. He's raced on about two dozen different racetracks this year, knows them all very well, and gets accustomed to racetracks very quickly. Likes Willow Springs. And he likes the money he's going to make if he can win this first one here this year. He's had a lot of trouble in Formula USA this year. But right now, he's doing a good job of keeping Stewart and Roloff at bay. And, of course, this can only give Roloff and Stewart an uh, adrenaline boost because if they can keep him in sight in the late stages of this race, you may see some very crafty passing going on when that white flag comes out. There goes Poland. There goes Stewart and Roloff. Two Suzuki's and a Kawasaki running in the top three. Got the two Suzuki riders ahead of uh, Roloff on the Kawasaki. Malcolm Hill now in a very lonely fourth position. Malcolm Hill on a Suzuki. And then at this spot, Kerry Andrews. I think Kerry Andrews is on a Kawasaki. Kerry Andrews on another Kawasaki. So Kawasaki's doing quite well out here. Running in third and fifth spot. In sixth spot, it's still... Uh, Langford, is that Langford? No, it's James Dubay now in uh, sixth spot. And we'll pick up the rest of them for you uh, next lap around. Right now, I mean, now look at it. Now it looks like Poland now is starting to motor away once again. He, uh, kind of like an accordion, he uh, moves out a little bit and then gets pushed back in. And right now, he's got the biggest lead we've seen all day. In fact, it's probably the biggest lead we've seen all year in this uh, Formula USA racing. As they go down the back straightaway, he's got that Suzuki with that alcohol now finally starting to uh, take hold as he's trying to get a grasp on his first race from the USA win ever and trying to pick up 700 bucks in the process. And of course, more importantly, getting in the top 15 for right now. I know Poland will be back next year to race from the USA. He goes where the money is. He's not dumb. Here he comes down the front straightaway. Still a couple of laps left, and now they've strung themselves out quite a bit. This is the photo we've seen them all strung out. And we thought it was going to get closer, but now they're starting to string themselves out. And Malcolm Hill now in a very consistent fourth place. Then comes Kerry Andrew, followed by Dumay, Langford. And Dumay and Langford are having a handlebar to handlebar contest back there in sixth position. And they're just ahead of bike number 181. And that's Curtis Adams. So Curtis Adams doing uh, the Adams family proud out here by staying up there within the top eight. And that's quite a battle on the racetrack right now between those five riders going around turn number two. Boy, they're swapping positions over there a lot over there. Look at this. Coming out of turn number two, the race on the track right now is that battle for uh, fifth place. We've got five riders going for it. Oh, one rider went a little wide up there, and he's going to get passed. He just got overwhelmed by a one rider, and now they're swapping positions again. By number 90, uh, 955, Eric Johnson, and... 
95, Eric Johnson and Bison. So we wanted to clear that up.